Ah, it's you two. Oh, a friend of yours? Well, I'll leave you all to it then. I should head back to the village and check up on Chief Amadea and the others anyway. Well, see you later! Yep, see you later, Atosa! Why do you always have to pop up out of nowhere like that? Is it your life's mission to jump scare us or something? It's hardly personal, or intentional for that matter. As long as you and I are both in pursuit of the Abyss Order, we're bound to cross paths. Ah, so you're here to investigate the Abyss Order then. That would explain the monsters you were fighting just now. Naturally. Hold on. Are you not here for the same purpose? Hmm. No matter. It may have taken you a while to catch on, but I'm sure you've also realized by now that there's something strange about this place. The Abyss Order is most certainly planning something in this area. Or worse, their plan could already be in motion. So you think the Abyss Order is behind the hilly trail activity in the area? As things stand, I highly doubt that is their primary motive. I would imagine the increased hilly churl activity is merely a byproduct of whatever it is they're really trying to accomplish. Still, the hilly churl activity is causing a lot of problems for the people here. We should stick around for a while and protect the village, don't you think? The best way to protect them is by figuring out what the Abyss Order is truly planning. That is how we prevent further tragedy. And you shall have them. I never intended to hide anything from you. Don't worry. There should be ample time to talk. Ah. So that was the commission that brought you here to Vimara Village. Someone who seems to only exist in people's memories. That is indeed quite intriguing. I would agree that it's unlikely you have a simple missing persons case on your hands. However, any possible connection to the Abyss Order is still unclear. It appears all we have by way of clues is increased hilly churl activity, and that is certainly not much to go off of. Right! That mysterious voice he heard in his sister's memory. The one who called himself a sinner. Who is he? Hmm. Traveler, let me ask you this. Do you believe your sibling to have betrayed you? Hmm. I sense hesitation in your words. After all, you still haven't figured out the whole truth of what happened. There's still hope for the two of you to reconcile. Irreparable damage has not yet been done. The sinner you wish to know about... His situation is different. He and his fellow sinners have long betrayed me, and long betrayed their nation. His name is Vedderfolnir, the Visionary. I'm loath to admit it, but he is also my kin, my older brother. Your brother? There were five of them, the five sinners of Kanria. The wise, Roptatir. The visionary, Vedderfolnir. Gold, Rhindaughter. The foul, Sertologi. And Rehir of Solnari, Rerir. No matter how eroded my memory may become, I will never forget their names. One day, I shall have my vengeance. Wait, some of those names sound really familiar. Rhindaughter is the one who created Albedo. Sertologi is Skirk's master. And the one we just learned about, Dane's brother, Vedafolnir. If he was the voice of the sinner, then the one who inspired Clotar to create the Abyss Order was him. They were once people of great esteem in Kanria. Those who carried the hopes of the nation. 
They were the best of their peers, outstanding in their respective fields. Six of us, together. We should have been the ones to prevent the disaster. The ones to stop the Vinster King from continuing to rock the foundation of the world. Yet, deep within, the five of them craved something more. They could not resist the call of the Abyss and divided among themselves a power that could destroy the world. So they became sinners, but also transcendent beings, each in possession of world-shattering power. And when the cataclysm occurred, not one of them stood up in defense of their nation. Not one came forward to prevent the tragedy. And for that, they shall never have my forgiveness. Indeed, if they are not stopped, the day is sure to come when they will also betray the entire world. Of course, as I said, I never intended to hide anything from you. <laughs>